We know from the experience of having been prostituted across thousands of encounters exactly what the nature of prostitution is. And I think that this is a big problem that we see in the press all over the world, uh, quite understandably, because many people absorb ideas about what prostitution is from literature and from film. We have a pretty woman image of prostitution, which, you know, there may be 12 women someplace who <laughs> have that much power and run into Richard Gere, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but it is not uh, the reality. First of all, the idea of prostitution as sex work is not only nonsense, but it's insulting, offensive nonsense. What was happening to us on, in the brothels and on the red light zones wasn't work or anything remotely resembling work it was compensated sexual violation. Mm -hmm. That's how we experienced it, that's how we lived it, that's um, what we suffered from, which is why uh, there are young girls I was on the street corners with in the early 90s who are in um, graveyards and jail cells today. In terms of coverage also, it's body invasion. I mean, we absolutely know from every study that body invasion is more traumatic even than beating. You know, our sense of ourselves is, you know, so if one is invaded on the average of 12 times a day, <laughs> uh, orally, anally, and vaginally, you can only begin to see what the trauma is, mm -hmm. what the life expectancy is, you know, which is, at some point, was less than a second lieutenant in more time. You know? What a person buys when they buy their way into someone else's body is not sex, because the nature of sex is of mutuality. We understand that in every other area, but not when it comes to prostitution. I believe you, your organization have, has also been looking into those countries where it is legalized. I'm not long back from New Zealand where prostitution is fully decriminalized, by which that means uh, pimping is fully decriminalized. Um, sex buying, brothel keeping, all of those things are fully decriminalized in New Zealand. And the link to, to uh, trafficking, are those women who work in New Zealand, in, in where it is decriminalized, are they all from New Zealand? We have um, testimony from women who directly saw the trafficking of Asian women in New Zealand brothels right before their eyes. And I find it fascinating that the um, New Zealand Prostitutes Collective pretends that there is no trafficking in that country when some of their own former members contend that there is. Added to that, there have been five murders in New Zealand, which is peddled to us as the safest place on earth to be in prostitution. There have been zero prostitution murders in Sweden, as you know, Margot, um, oh, and that system has been in place longer than the New Zealand fully decriminalized system. Since January 1999, uh, purchase of an attempt to purchase a sexual service has constituted, cons, constituted a criminal offence in Sweden. And uh, that provision marks Sweden's attitude uh, towards prostitution because we believe that prostitution is a form of, of exploitation of human beings and that it constitutes also a significant social problem which is harmful not only to the individual but uh, uh, also to society at, at large. It is uh, def defined or described like this in the uh, Penal Code, Chapter 6, Section 11. A person who obtains a casual sexual relation in return for payment shall, if uh, uh, the act does not constitute another sexual crime, be sentenced for purchase of sexual service to a fine or imprisonment for at most one year. The person who sells sexual services is not punished, and of course there are two reasons for that. Um, the majority of cases, the seller is the weaker part, exploited by the sex buyer, and it is not reasonable to punish the, the seller. It is important to motivate that uh, the person selling sexual services to seek help. I spent seven years in prostitution, I got out at 22. And I really do feel now, looking back in hindsight, that the strongest, uh, most robust 
protective legislation that could have existed in my country at that time would have been the Swedish model, which is exactly why I'm pressing for that now with women from all across the globe.